Nissan GT-R50. To celebrate the GT-R's 50th anniversary, Nissan has announced that, in 2019, they will introduce a limited production GT-R called the GT-R50. Only 50 of these cars will be produced with a price tag of 1.1 million US dollars and the car became the most expensive vehicle produced by Nissan. The GT-R50 shares its powertrain with the GT-R Nismo but is rated at 530 kilowatts, 721 PS, 711 horsepower, and 780 Nm, 575 pounds-feet, of torque. Upgrades to the engine include large diameter turbochargers shared with the GT3 specification GT-R, a heavy-duty crankshaft, pistons and connecting rods a modified intake system, a new exhaust system, a recalibrated gearbox, and a reinforced differential. The rear suspension system uses Bilstein continuously variable dampers and the car uses carbon ceramic brakes. The GT-R50 comes standard in 21-inch carbon fiber wheels with Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires. The design of the bodywork is a result of a collaboration between Intel Design and Nissan with the former celebrating its 50th anniversary in 2018. Construction of the bodywork is mainly of aluminum and carbon fiber. It was originally shown as a concept car not intended for production. Nissan decided to produce 50 of them to celebrate Nissan's 50th anniversary but it was delayed two years to 2020 due to modifications required to make it road legal. The design was developed by a team of Nissan's European and American designers and has been described as a car within a car. The front and back sections are designed so they appear to be emerging from the bodywork. Key design elements include a redesigned rear section, stretched LED headlamps at the front, a power bulge on the hood, a lowered roof line, and samurai blade cooling ducts behind the front wheels. The first production model of a GT-R50 was revealed in May 2020 in Italy. It retains all the design elements of the prototype such as the new headlamps, the bumper designs, splitters, rocker panels, active rear wing, hollow tail lamps, and dual tailpipes.